Here's the absolute best vehicles that you can get for under $5,000. But before I get into it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video because I post these videos every single day. And also leave a comment and tell me what your favorite vehicle ever built is. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Starting us off strong, coming up in the number 10 spot, we have the Mark V Volkswagen Golf GTI. This car comes with a 2-liter turbocharged inline 4 pumping at 197 horsepower and 206 pound-feet of torque paired to either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic, depending on what the buyer option did with, as well as front-wheel drive. Not only does this car have good power figures and great reliability, but most importantly, it is practical. These vehicles are hatchbacks, which means that you can fit a bunch of things in the back while still having space for yourself in the front. And overall, they're great vehicles. The interior feels a little bit cheap, but other than that, they're amazing vehicles and really good for the price, and they can be found to around $3,500. And next up in the number 9 spot, we have the Datsun 280ZX. This car comes with a 6-cylinder, inline 6 specifically, which makes 168 horsepower and 144 pound-feet of torque. It's available with either a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic, again depending on how it was optioned from the factory. It comes standard with rear-wheel drive, and in my opinion, it looks very, very good, as well as being a classic vehicle, and you can already see it now in the prices there, starting to appreciate so if you do want to get one of these right now would be the absolute best time to hop on and get one because these are going up in price especially being cool older japanese sports cars the prices are going to continue to go up and eventually i do think that they will skyrocket so if you want one get one now Coming up in the number 8 spot, we have the 7th generation Toyota Celica GTS. This car comes with a 1.8 liter inline 4 which makes 180 horsepower and 130 pound feet of torque. It's paired to either a 5 speed automatic or 6 speed manual and they come only as front wheel drive. I believe that these are some of the best looking vehicles that you can find for under $5,000 and I know that's like kind of a stretch because there's so many vehicles that meet that criteria but in my opinion Toyota just nailed it with this generation of the Celica. I think they look really, really good. The only thing that I don't like is that they're very underpowered and they're only front wheel drive. If these were rear wheel drive, I think they'd be so much more popular than they are now, but I can also see why people don't talk about them because at the end of the day, on paper, they really aren't that good of vehicles and their handling isn't the best. But overall, for $5,000, you're getting a pretty good package and the Toyota Celica really does deliver and overall great car next up coming up in the number seven spot we have the ford mustang new edge gt this car comes with a 4.6 liter v8 which makes 260 horsepower and 302 pound feet of torque paired to a five speed manual transmission as many other mustangs actually every other mustang does this comes with rear wheel drive these vehicles in my opinion look really good massive 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 upgrade over the previous i guess pre-facelift if that's what you'd call it because they are still technically the fourth generation mustang but either way this is such an upgrade from the previous pre-facelift it has more power in my opinion it looks better it sheds like the kind of melted cheese look and goes for more angular more aggressive look and in my opinion that just makes it a true mustang because mustangs historically have always been pretty aggressive and have pretty good power and this vehicle is just amazing and you can find them really cheap you can find a gt for around four thousand dollars Next up, coming up in the number six spot, we have the Mini Cooper S first generation. This car comes with a 1.6 liter inline four, which makes 163 horsepower and 154 pound feet of torque. This car also comes with a six speed manual transmission and front wheel drive. But most importantly, in my opinion, it looks amazing. It really captures what the Mini Cooper used to be all those years ago, and it really brings it into a more modern era and just enhances the looks so much. And it looks great. They're extremely cheap. Just be aware that they aren't the most reliable. But with that in mind, that doesn't make them bad vehicles because really not many vehicles for a $5,000 are going to be insanely reliable unless you get like a Camry or a Civic Si or something. But these cars, they're not the most reliable. Of course, they're technically BMWs, which isn't a bad thing. 
but still they're not the most reliable but they are very very practical being hatchbacks and they're beautiful vehicles and they're kind of fast not very fast but you can still have a lot of fun in them they handle great they're small and lightweight Next up, coming up in the number 5 spot, we have the Infiniti G35. This car has probably the worst sounding engine ever made, but that's not too much of a downside because it still makes 298 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Not only that, but it comes with either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive and, most importantly, can come with a 6-speed manual transmission. These vehicles are pretty much the same as the Nissan 350Z, which is a very good sports car. And due to that, these vehicles handle great and they have all the luxury features that an Infiniti would ever need. Plus, they're very reliable and you can find them quite cheap for around $3,500 to $5,000 depending on the condition. And coming up in the number 4 spot, we have the Chevy Cobalt SS Supercharged. This car comes with a 2 liter supercharged inline 4 which pumps out 205 horsepower and 200 pound feet of torque. Not only that, but it comes with a 5 speed manual transmission and front wheel drive. This vehicle not only being very reliable, but they're very fun and most importantly they have a supercharger whine which no other vehicle has. The only car that I can think of that sounds nearly as good as one of these would be probably a Hellcat. But really, these Cobalt SS's are just so unique and so amazing and you can find them so cheap in such good condition because nobody really cares about these. And it's very unfortunate, however, it's good for us because that means that we get cheap, cool vehicles and that's nothing to complain about. And now we're finally coming up in the top three. Coming in at the third spot is the BMW 328i E36. This car comes with a six cylinder, which makes 193 horsepower and 207 pound feet of torque. It's also available with a five speed manual transmission and rear wheel drive. Not only are these vehicles luxurious, but in my opinion, they look really good. They've aged beautifully. They have such defined, but still kind of square lines and they look just amazing really and they have so much aftermarket support and there's so much you can do with these and they are relatively reliable of course older bmws do tend to have some reliability issues and that's something you just have to expect with these vehicles however other than that there's not much bad that i can say about them they're overall just great vehicles and coming up in the number two spot is another car with an inline six. This is the Lexus IS300 first generation. It comes with one of the most famous engines ever built. It's the 2JZ GE, which pumps out 215 horsepower and 218 pound feet of torque. It can be had with either a five speed automatic or a five speed manual, depending on what you want and depending on what you can find. These vehicles aren't the most common, so with that in mind, you may have to settle with an automatic and manuals do command a higher premium. But realistically, an automatic IS300 is still a great vehicle and they are quite luxurious, of course, being Lexuses, and they come with rear wheel drive. They're very fun and they do have quite good tuning potential, not as good as the Supra, which made the 2JZ famous because this is a naturally aspirated version. But either way, these are amazing vehicles and great for the price. And finally, coming up in the number one spot is the Honda Del Sol. This car comes with a 1.6 liter inline four pump at 160 horsepower and 118 pound feet of torque paired to a five speed manual transmission and front wheel drive. This car is very reliable, fun and small. It's a front wheel drive Miata with a little more reliability. Despite not being the most comfortable and definitely being not the biggest, these are amazing vehicles. They have a ton of aftermarket support because they're based on the same generation of Honda Civic and most importantly, they are cheap. You can find these for around four and a half thousand dollars. Of course, some are more expensive, some are cheaper. It all depends on the mileage and condition. But either way, these are amazing vehicles. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what car on the list is your favorite, and hit subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a good day.